Hey coach, before we jump into this week's video, make sure you jump over to flag football with coach D.com. Look, we have a ton of options, but I have just put everything together in a brand new bundle called the ultimate complete coach bundle. You're going to get every single thing that I have ever put out in the universe. That means you're getting over 300 plays, 24 defense formations, 40 drills, 32 practices, templates, exclusive videos, the boot camp. I'm even giving you one month of the play builder for free included in this. Look, if you already have the complete coach package or one of our other popular items you check your email for that discount code we're giving you 30 or 50 percent off so make sure you jump on this get all the details right here now let's jump into this week's video hey everyone this is coach d today i have a treat for you not only am i going to show you my top plays but i'm going to show you how to teach them out on the field what i've heard is that some of us abandon some of our favorite formations plays, etc., because we can't get the kids to execute it on the field. Well, I'm going to show you simple ways, simple methods on how to teach it so that you can use the best of the best so you can win more games, you can win those championships, you can just have some fun out there. So let's dive in. Look, please don't share this with anyone. We don't need anyone knowing our best plays. So keep this quiet let's dive in right now as you know i love to use my clipboard my play builder prints out one per page i also have it on my wristband and i have my cones out here so everything i use to coach to train out on the field is available at flag football with coach d.com all my bundles include everything you see and you can also get all the plays that i'm going to show you today Let's start with this one. This is one of my favorites. It's split back formation, right? And a lot of kids at the younger age level have a hard time, right? Going back and forth. How do I get them to like run to the sideline? How do I get them to fake the ball? Let's dive right in. The first thing I do with every single play that I'm gonna teach is I put it out here on the field, just like this. Right here, I have the ball with the center. Right behind it, I have the quarterback, as you can see. And then I have split back formation, which is usually about five to seven yards back, okay? I've got A on this side, I've got B on that side. Spreading their wings here, spreading their wings here, and their fingertips should be touching. That's how far apart they are. Now, how do I get these players to fake and then grab the ball here? Instead of just trying to get you know, five players out here. I want to take the main function of the play, which is this fake handoff, fake handoff, fake handoff. And then I want to be able to switch it so that it would be a fake and then handoff. Here's what I'd want to do. I'm going to actually do a drill. I'm going to have a line of running backs on this side, and I'm going to have a line of running backs over here. I'm going to have a quarterback right here. All I want the quarterback to do is learn how to do this guy right here. I just want them to turn around, hand the ball. Just want the quarterback to do this. Quarterback goes like this. The reason I wanna do that is because, check this out. If I go like this, who has the ball? Who's getting the ball? Any idea? No idea. Do it again. So whether I'm teaching a kindergartner, I'm teaching an eighth grader, it doesn't matter. What I can do for my quarterbacks, right? And if I'm gonna rotate a couple quarterbacks, all I want them to do during this drill is this. Now what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna have one of them fake, and then one of them grab the ball. So the quarterback's just gonna go like this. Let's say I wanted this line to fake first. What I've done is because I want them to hit the sideline, is I've put out a line of cones here to show them <clears throat> where I want them to run. I don't want them to cut in like this. Nope. I want them to take a long <laughs> way, I call it follow the yellow brick road. I want you to follow the yellow brick road to the sideline, right, and to the house. So I'm gonna say, ready, go. Quarterback turns around. This one is gonna fake first. And all I'm teaching this line to do is to fake. So all they're gonna do is when they come to the ball, I want them to put their elbow up to the quarterback and I want them to just chomp down, chomp down. Chomp down, chomp down, chomp down, 
chomp down. Use that all day long. I just want you to chomp down on it. Act like you have the ball. Follow the yellow brick road to the sideline. So it would look like this. Ready, go. Follow the yellow brick road. If I had them come in this way, that's wrong. So now they have a clear line of where they're gonna go. Ready, go. Chomp down. Follow the yellow brick road to the sideline. What I also do is on this other side, is I want it to be right away. Right away, I want whoever's gonna get the ball, this side, to come right behind. When they see this one go chomp down, boom, immediately they're going to take the ball. Again, quarterback gets the elbow, elbow up. I take the ball, chomp down on it, and I follow the yellow brick road, right? So quarterback turns around. I grab it, follow the yellow brick road to the sideline. So what I've now done is I've done a couple things. I've created a very simple line to follow the yellow brick road. I've created something in their mind of follow the yellow brick road means that goes to the sideline, all right? I've taught fakers how to chomp down and act like they actually have the ball the entire way. So they're running. I've sped up the tempo so that right away, right after you see the chomp, you're going, getting the ball, following the yellow brick road to the sideline. And then you repeat it. And this becomes rapid reps. And then they switch and they switch lines. So after they were the, the faker, then they go and they're, they're the runner. And during my meet and greet, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for fakers. That one faker is every time they chomp down and they run that yellow brick road, man, it looks like they have it. So I'm looking for fakers because in many of the plays, you're gonna see that I need somebody faking. So this drill, what it does is it not only teaches them, you know, how to go back and forth and hurry it up and how to do this split back formation, but it also shows me who is the faker. And then it also shows me who can hit the sideline, the yellow brick road and make it to Oz, right? Who's my B, who's my fast? see ya and who's my faker all day long and i'm usually looking for two or three of each so that is how this one is executed i'm not as concerned with my c at this point i'm not as concerned with my center at this point but this right here is what i need to get down and that's how to do it the next few plays are this tight formation you see here where b is going to get the ball in between the center and the quarterback then i have a fake of the same exact formation a fake the other way a is now going to fake this way so how do i get players to do that easy same exact principle but now what drilling is going to do is it's going to set them in the right formation if i just got up here one time and i was running the play then i'd be like uh and when it's game time, I wouldn't remember where I was supposed to go. I look at it and I'm like, I, uh, and I'm way over here. So by drilling, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that ah, I look at this. I see this. I'm this close to, okay, right. This is my path. Got it. So real quick, tight formation is where the center and the running backs are all like foot to foot. They're literally touching each other's foot right? The side of their foot. So I would be like this and I would be like, this is a, I'm going to have a couple of people behind here, a couple people behind here. And on tight formation, what's going to happen is this, this running back is going to go in between center and quarterback. So what does that look like? The quarterback ready go is literally just going to put their ball out like this. Ready, go ball out ready go ball out ready go ball out that's it so if you're rotating quarterbacks that's all you're getting them used to i look at that i know it's tight formation i see it's not a turnaround it's not a side to side it is literally going like this but here's how i drill it quarterback stands here ready go ready go 
ready, go. That's it. Well, on this side, let's say it's B. B is going to get the ball and follow the yellow brick road. As you can see, I always do a little fake this way and then go. Just puts them off just for a second. I'm first up. Ready, go. I am going to go in between the center and the quarterback. Again, always have my elbow up to the quarterback. I take the ball this time. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Ready, go. Grab. Follow the yellow brick road. You can also, on this side, do that fake. Same exact formation, same exact method. Going to go in between the center and the quarterback. But all they're doing is chomping down, acting like they have it, and they're gone. Quarterback the whole time. Ready, go. Just this. So again, I'm looking for people who can get the right fake down, run to the sideline. I'm also looking for my speedsters who can hit that sideline right away, get away from the, the defense, right? These are things that I'm looking for as I'm teaching this play. My second level would be then to add a defender about two to three yards off and have them chase them and see if they could do some moves to get around it. And the purpose of this is so that when they look at the, the wristband, all they can remember is follow the yellow brick road. It will avoid frustration all day long. Another one of my favorite plays, one of my favorite formations is that single back formation. So we're going to put it out on the field, but this time, how do I get my kids to grab the ball here from the quarterback and then fake the ball here and then follow the yellow brick road? How do I get this one to fake that and then act like they have it on this side, right? Because on the next play, I want to actually hand it to A coming around this way. How do we do that? Now, I'm going to show you here on the field what I've done. My center and my quarterback. And then back here, I've done a couple of things. My B, my running back is right here, okay? And then what I've created is a nice line of the yellow brick road all the way to the sideline. Now you can see the cones that are flipped up are the kind of path. This is A right here. So what's going to happen is on ready go, B is going to get the ball about right here. And then A is going to start moving. And then what's going to happen about right here, I've added a bunch of cones on top of each other because this is where the fake is going to happen. So out on space, out on the field, they can actually feel, see, where am I supposed to do the fake? On what side am I supposed to do it? So now I'm going to drill this over and over and over. Watch, I want the quarterback to just simply, again, turn around. Do you know who's getting the ball? B starts right here, about, again, five yards back, ready, go. They're going to run towards, right, my line that I've given them. They're going to get the, the turnaround from, from the quarterback. They're going to get the ball. Again, elbow up toward the quarterback. They've got it. Now what they're going to do is they're going to take the inside. And the reason why they want to take the inside is because when I hand off like this, right, when I fake hand off like this, you don't know who has the ball. You can't see the ball right now. You have no idea. So when I go like this, you have no idea who's getting the ball. So now I've taught them right here, this big clump of cones is where you're going to do your fake. All right. So they're going to do their fake handoff. At the same time that B is going, A is doing the same thing. Ready, go. They do a quick move this way and then they run to their spot. They're going to be on the outside, right? So that means Right, wherever they're getting the ball, that elbow is up. So they go like this, they chomp, chomp down, and they go as if they have the ball. So real time, it's pretty fast, and you have a line over there, a line here, and your quarterback. Ready, go, go. And what you're working on, coach, whether they're second graders up to high school level, is you're working on B, being able to get the ball and then quickly go like this, fake, and then run, right? 
Look at this. That's my tuck. That's my run. I'm running with my outside, right? So it's get the ball, fake the handoff, tuck and run. And you drill that. So you have, maybe there's five on this side, right? And they're on B, right? They're, they're on B right here. Ready, go. Fake, tuck, go. Okay? And what you're working on is you're working on timing. Timing of when they can get here, they can hand it off here and go. And then what you're looking for is a combination of A and B, right? Who can fake it really well? Who can hand it off and run, right? There's probably two or three of them combined that can nail this, and that's what you're looking for during this drill. Not every single player is going to be able to do it, but it's a great way to drill it and get them comfortable with faking, right? There's a lot of great things in this. Faking, chomping down, taking handoffs, right? Following the yellow brick road, hitting the sideline. So with that one drill, you're able to, to build skills, whether they're going to be in the, the game doing that play or not. What this does is it tells me as B, every time I look down and I see single back formation, I know how far I'm supposed to be. Cool. If I'm supposed to be on this side, now I know, because I've done this drill so many times, where I'm supposed to be on this side. And so now this is teaching me a field awareness, where am I supposed to be for each of these plays. All right, that's it for this week, but you get the idea. Next week, I'll show you more of my favorite plays and how to teach them out here on the field. Whether you are running these specific plays or you're running your own plays, use these formations and you don't need 36 plays. You don't need just four plays, but from each formation, you can build out four to five variations and then do what's called progression. So progression means I might take A and then give to B. Then on the next play, I might take B, give to A. And then I might not fake to anyone. They, they act like they're getting the ball but then I go this cross route. Maybe I do a nice corner route, right? Depending on, but I can trick the defense by having the exact same formation every single time and making it a little bit different. As you see here, I have the same formation every single time, but what I'm doing is I'm switching it up just a little bit, right? I'm handing it off there. Then I'm fake handing it off there, right? And getting the nice opening for my crossing pattern to see. That's only gonna work because I was able to do that fake handoff there because the play before, I ran that. And then the next one, right? Now I'm gonna fake this way. So I'm using the same formation to build out three to four to five to 10 different plays. And then you're teaching them how to execute some of the basic fundamentals of each of those formations out here on the field so that you can just say, hey, remember when we did that drill and you ran this way or that? Hey, follow the yellow brick road. Hey, chomp down, chomp, chomp, right? You can say these things over and over and all of a sudden they're like, aha, that's right. And then it'll take you probably two minutes to teach a new play instead of 10 to 15 minutes. So that's the goal. So do some of these early drills up front for your favorite formations, and then it'll pay off over time. And you can execute a high level playbook with a pretty simple framework. All right, guys, that is it for today. I know I wanna show you all 10 plays right this second, but hey, look, come back next week. Again, everything that I'm teaching you is available at Flag Football with coachd.com click the link down below i've got all type of bundles for you you can get the ultimate bundle which has absolutely every single thing that i have ever introduced every single play every single drill every single piece of equipment is in the ultimate bundle if you're a new coach make sure you grab the new coach bundle if you're an experienced coach reach out make sure you have that discount code for 30 to 50 percent off i want to make sure you're taken care of so look this is coach d if you like what you see make sure you like comment subscribe and share we're doing this every single week so come on back 
I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Let's go.